everybody just doing an update today on our crack key method of hydroponics this is where we began January 23rd um, we actually began the project on January the 18th this was an update that we did on the February the 5th and this was the uh, micro dwarf tomato and this is what we have today okay so it's been over a month quite a bit over a month and this is our oh, our uh, plants that are still in the hydroponic situation the crack key method This is the micro dwarf tomato from Bunny Hop Seeds. And as you can see, this is actually four plants in there. I don't know if you can let's see if we can zoom out a little bit and take a look. They're doing really, really well. And if you can see in there, I don't know if you can see or not. Let's see. Uh, they have these beautiful buds. Well, you can see this one a little bit. I hope the light's not too much. There's buds all over these plants. They're just going to have so many tomatoes. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm amazed. Now, it's funny though, because the tomatoes did great. The uh, bib lettuce, that's what that is, did great. And remember, I planted all of these. Well, the, this was planted on the 17th of January, this lettuce. That's so beautiful. Oh my god. Okay. And I don't know if there's a God, look at the foliage on that. I was thinking about possibly um taking some of the branches off and cloning them because they're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is definitely a great way to grow tomatoes. For real. And lettuce that's doing well. Now, the funny thing is the uh, Paris Island um, Romaine did not do well. It looks pretty dead. I'll show you in a minute. And also these peppers. Now you have to understand too that um, the weather has been unseasonably cold here in California and so the peppers and and it's weird I don't know these are these are like a, a micro dwarf it's they're called Pippins and I got these at Bunny Hop Seeds as well um, these um, bib lettuce was from the seed plant and so but the peppers, they're just kind of, they're hanging in there, and they look okay. But they're not doing, not even close to as good as anything else. I mean, my word. Check out those tomatoes. Woo! Boy, we're going to have such a beautiful crop of tomatoes pretty soon. So anyway, I'll go and uh, we'll go out and show you the um, lettuce that didn't do very well and also um, show you the cucumber and everything else that we have going on outside. This is Max. Hi Max. Come here. Where are you going buddy? Come here. Isn't he cute? 
Okay, so here we are outside, and as you can see, these peppers are doing about the same. Those are the jalapenos, and those are the Pippin's uh, micro dwarf. Then we have some more of the jalapenos, jalapenos, and here's the sad lettuce, and more sad lettuce. I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened here, but uh, and I've changed their water a couple times, thinking you know it might be something to do with that, but they just haven't been able to uh, thrive. But the um, the other one is doing really well, so we're okay with that. And beside that is. Um, the parsleys that we transplanted last week and um, garlic which is doing really well there is our spinach and the cucumber that we had to transplant into dirt and some more garlics here and this is watercress. I bought that at the grocery store and it had roots on it and so anything that has roots on it is fair game in my mind. So anyway, that's the update that I have for today. I'm trying to get a better picture here. Hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.